Okay, part two of churches. So as I was saying, you know, you're not getting fed in the word, but my husband has something to say. Go ahead, babe. Yeah, well, I have something. To, well, I have something to say real quick, and I can't stress this enough. To those who are in the body of Christ, do not condemn people who are coming to your church and trying to get the word, and don't tr and don't try to chase them away because those people who you could have saved, they might not come back, because I because I because we are supposed to represent Christ in the right way, and how we're we gonna do that if if we're talking about people or we or we giving them a nasty look, that I mean that that and that makes us look bad as as Christians, but. And especially for those who are representing Christ the right way, and when we go to try to minister to somebody else, then then they're gonna be looking at, at us like, and and that and for and and not to be funny, but that's it's really not a good look, mm -hmm. and we got to get it together. Yeah, so let's just look more like Jesus Christ and less like the world, so that we can actually get people ready and get them saved for when He comes back. Because right now, if He came. None of us would be ready because we're just going just for the sake of going or we want to say that we're going. And again, Jesus does not care about that. God does not care. He looks inward at the heart and not the outward, not by just the works. So let's just get it together. Preachers, um, ambassadors for Christ, let's get our houses, which is the church, in order and start serving him for real. All right. God bless you guys. P. Moody. And T. Moody. Have a great day. Have a blessed day, guys.